Delta APC Gubernatorial Campaign Organization has described the recent defection of PDP leaders to the Progressive Congress APC as a testament to Senator Obiyama Gege's attractive style of politics. This is even as the campaign organization congratulated the Deputy Senior President and Delta APC governorship candidate on the flagging of ceremony of five projects at his alma mater St. George's Grammar School, Obinoba Ukwani local government area of Delta State. During the week, Senator Omagege had led other APC stalwarts to welcome Chief Barrister Gabriel Echo, Al Haji Mohamed Umaru, Arinze Umboka, and over 1,000 PDP faithfuls into the APC family in Abraka, Ethiopia East local government area of Delta State. Why Chief Echo was a two time PDP chairman, Abraka Ward Thierry, 2012 to 2020, and special advisor to the chairman of Ethiopia East local government area council from 2020 until his recent defection, Alhaji Umaru is chairman of Arewa community in Ethiopia East, even as Umboka leads the Igbo community in the area. In congratulating the Delta Central lawmaker on the defections, the Director of Communications and Media Strategy of the organization, Ima Niboro, noted that the development was a huge gain not only for APC but lovers of good governance in the state. The campaign spokesperson commended the new members for their uncommon courage in identifying with the Obarisi of Roboland and joining hands with him to rescue the state from PDP's strangulation and misgovernance. He said the defectors have made the right choice for their political future and in the interest of the state. On the flagging of ceremony of projects at his alma mater in Delta North Central District, Niboro noted that if he could facilitate projects outside his senatorial district without executive order, without executive powers, he would do more if given the mandate to lead the state as governor. The APC standard bearer, he said, had also facilitated projects to Delta SAT, making him the first lawmaker in the history of the state to influence projects across the three senatorial districts. According to him, with his background in both the executive and legislative arms of government, Senator Omagege is the most prepared of all the governorship candidates, stressing that he has the experience and capacity to hit the ground running upon assumption of office. He said the federal lawmaker has over 400 constituency projects in 2021 across the state, spanning all sectors including roads, schools, ele electricity, solar, rural electrification, water projects, educational and ICT infrastructure, primary health care, human capital development, and empowerment. Senator Omagage's impact stretches beyond his direct constituency. He facilitated the rehabilitation of Asaba Ugbolu Ila Road in Delta North, the renovation, rehabilitation, and furnishing of the Nana Living Museum in Koko, Delta South, among others. These records remain unmatched in the 30 year history of our dear states. The age
agenda is committed to halting the weaponization of poverty, marginalization of our people, and underdevelopment of our communities that lay the golden egg by successive PDP administrations, Niboro said. He described Omagege as a promise keeper, noting that the project at his alma mater, St. George's Grammar School, Obinoba, were in fulfillment of his promise made in November 2021. The project include the construction and equipping of an e-library administrative block, a story building containing 12 classrooms block, rehabilitation of the existing dining hall refectory and 200 bed spaces for male and female hostels respectively. My viewers at home, what's your take on this? Uh, please uh, drop your ration in the comment section and your voice will be heard loud and clear around the world. And ensure you share the report across all, all progressive Congress APC political platforms, all of your magazines or political platforms on uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, name it, uh, thanks and God bless as you make this report very as you spread this report across all news platforms, okay? All right, uh, we shall be going to the uh, reaction sections now to do justice uh, to reactions uh, at the moment, okay? Please stay tuned. All right, my viewers at home, we have a reaction here from... Uh, but before we take the rations, uh, please, uh, distinguish the top of your is vying for the position of uh, governor of Delta State and uh, he may likely uh, become the next governor of Delta State as things uh, are going and uh, because uh, in the PDP there have uh, you know uh, been series of problems taking place in the PDP and as, as he stands now or as I speak with you the PDP candidate uh, whose name is Sheriff Oborewori is having uh, issues uh, regarding a certificate and uh, the Federal High Court has just uh, uh, declared that uh, the PDP data states uh, currently have no candidates, have no Guba candidates, and uh, also warned that uh, uh, Sheriff Oborewori, the current speaker of uh, the State House of Assembly, should stop parading himself as uh, the Guba candidate of uh, or PDP in Delta State. All right, uh, please uh, let's uh, look at the uh, uh, comment section. Uh, the first reaction here is from uh, uh, Kingsley uh, MC Nero, which says, uh, uh, "Okay, says uh, say Baba, anybody can defect anytime. Okay, even you. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, also, Arrow Oki also commented saying." Uh, Sure, with the great Obarisi Akbo AJ and Deputy Governor Otumba on the thrones, AJ's agenda will move with the 23 solution. Okay, all right. M.O. Marvelous also commented saying, uh, I support you, my daddy. God bless you for everything you are doing for the good people of Delta State. All right, Clifford Otega Tele also commented saying, Agege we know, Agege we know. All right, Sunday across a Fenure also commented saying, Yes, uh, believe in him. Yes, people believe in him. They will surely come around because of his style. 23 is victory, victory, and uh, victory. All right. All right, we have other reactions here, but uh, time will, will never permit. Uh, please draw, uh, draw, uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel and share this report across our PDP APC and uh, your mag again political platforms uh, worldwide on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, and name it and buy for now, okay?